it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP Season 2. So currently, we're about to have a baby. We're about to have a baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is like a big moment for me. I'm super curious to see what we're about to have. I think Zane's just like, but why? But why me? Um, I'm super excited, so let's go ahead and play it. We're going to have the baby at home, actually. Um, because I want to have an at-home birth. No, you're not going to the hospital. Uh-uh. No, you're not. Zane, don't even bother going. She's not going. She's not going. Sit back and relax. Literally, she should just go relax, but I, I can't do anything. Except walk. Oh, sh Zane! Zane! No, don't go have tea. Run up here, Zane. We should film it. Run up here, Zane. Zane, run! Zane! Run! Zane, run! Okay, okay, good. We made it in time. <laughs> I'm gonna take a home video. Okay. Oh! That was kind of late. Like, literally as soon as this... We started filming. This happened. Alrighty. And the name I came up with uh, for... Well, I didn't come up with it. But anyways. <laughs> it's going to be Aiden from um, The Last of Us. Not The Last of Us. Beyond Two Souls. So, Aiden. Um, and the pregnancy has had its ups and downs, I know. So, he has been born with easily impressed and the neurotic trait. Alrighty. I think we only had one baby. Oh, I'm kind of sad. I wish we had more. <laughs> I wanted like one more. That's okay. It's probably it's probably better to have them at two separate times, anyways, because we already had twins. That's okay. That's okay. But yeah, we had one. I bet you guys like were probably like, um, I'm gonna go with like seven. No, I'm kidding. But. So cute! Oh, he looks like a cute little baby, too. He looks like actually a newborn baby. Congrats, EA, for that one. Yay! Um, but we're gonna go ahead and give him a nice little nursery, actually. Um, I told you guys I wanted the kids to actually, um, uh, move into their separate rooms when they're teenagers, so we will definitely have to reverse this all around. But we're going to give him a nice little nursery. I think I'm gonna go with a, uh, a yellow theme for his room um yeah and hmm for curtains should I go with these I don't know one of my all-time favorite curtains are actually these ones from generations I just adore them I think they just look amazing with every house you make is that the front of the house no that's the side I'm actually going to uh throw in another window this needs to be doop, reversed. It's actually, this is wrong. Damn it. These are wrong, right? Yes. No, those are right. Hold on. Don't mind me. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm actually kind of showing you guys what I'm doing. This is rare. Hi. <laughs> I never do this. Just saying. And we will give him, I'm thinking like a rubber ducky theme. I know it's kind of random. A rubber ducky theme. But I, I don't know. It'd be cute. Like a little, little ducky theme. Right? Or maybe an underwater theme. Ah, we'll do an underwater theme. More, more content to go with it. Um, and we will do this. A green and give that greens um, and do that whoops there we go okay oops put that there as well okay and now for his bed let's go ahead and give him a normal little crib I never really use the changing tables anymore but I like to place them just for decorations. Decorations. 
uh, baby sewing. We have one downstairs, but I wouldn't mind putting one up here, actually. If I can fit in the corner right there, that'd be even better. No. Eh, we'll put move objects on. And really put that in the corner. Okay. Really put it all the way up in there. Move that over just a smidge. And let's see, what can we put in the corner? We could put a bookshelf if I really wanted. It would look a little weird since this is an underwater theme. Um, let's see. Good, let's see, let's see. There's really, I'm up just, I wanted to put a rocking chair down in here, but there's no room. I should have made this right here, the nursery, but it's fine, it's fine. Nice round table, maybe? No, it definitely has to be square. Huh, you guys are probably like, this is boring. I'm sorry. I should just go ahead and skip this, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this really quickly because it can take me a while, but I will like be right Alrighty, back. everybody, in here is the nursery. Oops, my little fishies are off the wall. Hold on. Whoops, I do this all the time. <laughs> I think I'm done, but I'm not. Um, I'll actually show it to you guys here in the daytime light. Um, but here it is. It's super cute and little kiddish, and I just, I think it's super cute. So, um, it's very, very bright, which I love bright rooms. Um, so here he has some little plushies on the floor and a little panda over there. His bed with some bedside tables and lamps and everything just to really brighten it up in here. Uh, he has a swing, his changing table, a, a baby monitor, and all of that fun stuff in here. And his walls are really fun and colorful. So, yeah, that is little baby Aiden's room. I love it. I think it's super cute. Um, and as for the rocking chair, I actually didn't have any room in here. Totally forgot about that. Just remembered. Didn't have any room in here, but I will gladly, um, actually place one and, uh, put it somewhere else. Let's see. I don't want a rustic rocker. Who would want that? Not me. Um, I know there's more. So where are they? <laughs> Here's one. Relax a rocker. That's what I want. I really don't have any room. I can get rid of the baby swing and put that there if I really wanted to. I think I might because there's a baby swing downstairs. So, yeah, we're going to do that. So she can cradle him in here. And let me actually... Sorry for making, like, last minute changes. Uh, I'm going to make it white, too. To go with his room. Oh, it's going to be white and brown, but that's fine. It's fine, that's fine. Alrighty, so yeah. She can rock with Aiden. I love it. I love it. We're going to rock with Aiden, actually. <laughs> we just had him and she needs to get some sleep. We're going to rock with Aiden really quickly. I love it. Alrighty, so Zane is already back in bed, but yeah, I love it. What a good mom. I really do love Penelope so, so much. And little baby Aiden. Love it. We have two girls, two boys. So now we have to have another kid to like be like, all right, who's it going to be? Another boy or another girl? Um, to be kind of like the tiebreaker. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and put him in his bed now and, and go to sleep herself uh, because she needs it. But yeah, I am super happy. I just, I am so happy we had another baby and we're definitely going to be having another one. Just a big FYI. Um, just one more and then that's most likely it. <laughs> but I'll probably wait until Aiden is like a mid toddler till we try for another baby. Um, I think that's just the perfect time to try for another baby. Because then once the baby comes, it's a kid. And I don't know. It's a great time. Um, but yeah, I can't believe how old everybody's getting. The kids are halfway to becoming teenagers Kendra's about to become a teenager what the hell this is scary I don't like it everybody's aging up oh um so yeah everybody I will I guess see you guys when everybody wakes up Alrighty, everybody so good morning um oh he's hungry so everybody's at school everybody's really hungry so hopefully they all eat and Zane should be getting a promotion today oh he definitely will be getting a promotion today oh promotion on a Friday exciting 
Um, let's see. So what's up with him now? He smells. We will go ahead and give Aiden a bath or change his diaper, actually. Can't even see him under there. Holy crap. You can't even see Aiden. Anyways, yeah, the kids uh, should be getting lunch, actually. They get lunch at school, but um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and change his little diaper. And let's go ahead and put him in the swing downstairs. We actually have time to kind of uh, have some Penelope time, which is pretty rare. Uh, so what she's going to do today is, of course, uh, do some of her sketches. Uh, but first, before that, I get out of here, Tinkerbell. Oh, my God, Tinkerbell's so mean. She's going to go use the toilet, not take a bath, but take a shower and have some salad for lunch. Tinkerbell, knock it off. She's so mean. I'm literally about to change her traits. I can't take it. She's so mean to everybody. And I am i know this is probably cheating, but it just it has to be done. It seriously has to be done. She's so mean. So let's see. Um, Yeah, we're going to get rid of all of those because she's so mean. Um, And we will do... She will be quiet, which is always nice. Um, a hunter. And uh, she will be friendly. The complete opposite of what she was before. Let's actually go ahead and get her a nice little collar. We will do a little bell, a little pink bell. <laughs> love it alrighties or oh, actually kind of like the blue one we'll do the blue one uh, I don't know we'll do blue so yeah Tinkerbell isn't so mean anymore yay I, I just had to she was literally fighting everybody so thank goodness that's done hopefully she's not gonna be so rude anymore but yeah she wants some attention so uh actually the kids should be home soon by the time you know she, Penelope's done the kids one of them probably Kendra will be home so she will give a Give little Tinkerbell some attention, feed her a treat, talk to her, um, chase her, and all that good stuff. Okay. Oh, Katie. Oh, Katie, everybody. We're going to have our green salad, and we definitely need to clean the house up tonight. But I'm not going to have Penelope do it because she just had a freaking baby. So somebody else will. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look. Look at her. I love how Tinkerbell is just sitting up here, like, next to the cookie jar, like, they're, like, the same size. That is so funny. So, so funny. Okay, so we're going to go continue our sketch over here. A little Aiden sleeping. Little Aiden's just sleeping in here with his mom. While she does her sketches, he's just asleep. <laughs> I love it. That actually kind of looks like a Sims 4 sketch, if you ask me. But it isn't. So I let you all know, it isn't. I like how she says go home in like a baby stroller like she's gonna be in there like rooming around like this in a stroller that's probably what's gonna happen everybody um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, go go give Tinkerbell some attention where is she there she is all right and Zane has left work today where's his promotion there it is Mm. Alrighty, congratulations, Zane Santiago's promotion to traffic cop levels him. Oh, gives him a certification to be a pro in apprehending burglars. That's awesome. Alrighty, congratulations, Zane's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to traffic cop, as well as a bonus of seven hundred and forty-four millions. The streets are packed with traffic jams and accident claims, and you are the traffic cop stuck in the middle of the intersection. Now, when the real police work starts, now's when the real police work starts. So get uh, close to your partner. You'll need someone who has your back when s screeching tires hit the pavement. Zay now makes seventy millions per an hour and works from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So pretty much his hours are exactly the same. Um, cool. I'm just happy he got a promotion. Um, we just really have to get to, to uh, know our partner, which is totally fine. I've been trying. 
Uh, we'll actually give him a call right now. Mr. Taj. Oh, that's that's nice. Tinkerbell's our enemy. That's cool. That's cool. Um, where is he? That's our boss, but we want our partner. There he is. We're going to go ahead and uh, send him a friendly text and uh, chat up with him. Oh, and we finished another sketch, did we? We're going to name this one Housewife. And we're going to go ahead and take the sketch. And hang this one up. We will put it uh, right there. Actually, right here. Right? Yeah. Can we put it right there? Yes, we can actually. We'll... Oh, no. It's right here. There we go. Even though this one needs to be like a close-up. Once we get like another portrait like this, I'll put that one right there. Cool. We're going to encourage Kendra to improve her skills. And, uh... Shaka bra her and Kendra is actually going to invite over Andrea not I'll invite him out she should invite him out but we're gonna invite him over um it's really nothing to do in this town well there is actually a lot to do what am I talking about I can't wait for summer I'm gonna have the kids at the water park all the time Aiden will be a toddler cool Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Oh, and then in the next part, um, like the next part when we start it, I'll have everybody's outfits changed uh, for summertime and all of that, like late spring, summer. Um, he's talking to Taj on the phone. Uh, Penelope, why don't you go ahead and do some laundry? She's going to go drop off some permission slips. And look at little Isaac doing his homework. Like, such a good kid. I love him. Alrighty, so she's going to... Do the dishes and go head to City Hall really quickly to drop off the permission slips. Alright, and Andrea is here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, ask him how his day is. Go get to know him a little bit. And we are going to complain about school. He should probably relate about that one. I'll tell him that he's been doing such a good job. Um, we're going to enthuse about comic books. Complain, complain about video games, please. Oh, he's a loner. Perfect. Perfect. Um, talk about computers. Um, let's see. Talk about the rain. <laughs> Um, show him a funny video and maybe compliment his appearance. Like, I like your vest. Get out of here. Wait, why to ruin the kid's moment? Seriously. Seriously, leave. What the hell? Go, leave. Seriously. So weird. Oh, they, they like each other. Zane's probably like... <laughs> um, we're gonna ask him if he's single, which I'm sure he is, but yeah. And we are going to give him our first kiss, maybe? And there's her first kiss! I love it! So cute! Um, she's gonna give him a hug. Zane's probably like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. She's probably gonna have her first little boyfriend. Oh my goodness. Alright, they're gonna go steady. They're gonna go steady. Why not? Propose going steady. Okay. Kendra has her first boyfriend. How exciting. Ow. And she's like, all right, now that we're boyfriend and girlfriend, I'm going to go over here and eat. Uh, Zane, do me a favor. Oh, we got a text from Luna Fenderson. Oh, go repair the sink for me. Let's see. What did it say? Oh, Luna Fenderson has a party starting soon. Hey, Zane, this is Luna Fenderson. I heard you know how to throw a good party. The word got around. I'm having a little get together, so you should stop by. I guess we'll stop by Luna's party since we were like, oh, well, he's really tired. But I just want to stop by. I'll have uh, Penelope stop by. Oh, my gosh. Poor Isaac. He's been trying to get on this freaking horse for like two parts now. 
Here you go, Isaac. Go jump up on that. Ride rodeo, boy. Ride rodeo. Um, yeah, we're gonna get Aiden and actually go ahead and head over to Luna's house. Um, oh, there we go. She's gonna take Aiden. Good, good, good. And Lindy just got back from delivering the permission slip, so she's going to go shower. I'm gonna have Kendra finish repairing this. Actually, you know what? No, we'll just call a repair technician. She will go upstairs and, uh play some sports games and here's little Isaac just running that horse like no tomorrow I never had one of these when I was a kid I never had one nope. okay so she's gonna go do that Alrighty, and let's see, they're at the party now, so let's kind of see who's there. I wonder if Tori's there. I'll laugh so hard, because she hates Tori, um, Luna. So, I wonder who she invited. Who's all here? Okay, there's just, like, a teenage girl in flippers and a bikini in their garage. Um, that's just, that just doesn't sound right. Uh, here's Luna in her bikini. Uh, here is Ethan Tanner, an old lady in Ava's old bedroom, and I don't know why she has this bed. Obviously, I need to reinstall that. Whoops. Um, and yeah, this party's pretty lame, pretty darn lame. We're just gonna leave, uh, before she sees us. <laughs> so before Penelope sees us, or not Penelope, before Luna sees us, we're just gonna go. Um, it's late anyways, so... We're going to play some video games and I guess invite him up here to uh, play with us as well. And look at little Lindy being such a good kid. Such a good kid mopping this up. The repair woman should be here soon. So that's good. Such a good kid. Oh, did she not? Did she not go home? Did she not go home? No, she put the baby down. Oh, another old lady in her old bedroom. I love it. I love it. I just miss this little home. They were so involved with sports and, uh, you know, debate teams and drama club. And, oh, she was the prom queen, wasn't she? She was. And he was the prom king. And Luna was the prom queen. Oh, scouts. Oh. Roll back. We're gonna go ahead and just grab our kid and leave, unfortunately. Even though I freaking love this house. I really, really do. And Justine and Joseph's room was so basic because they were never in there, so. <laughs> I love it. I miss Justine and Joseph so much. Oh, there's Ava and there's Snuggles. We really need to hang out with them more. It's like my goal. This actually, this party is not too, too bad. Random dog. <laughs> okay, but yeah, we will be back. We just, you know, we have the baby. It's late. Um, she's tired, so we're just gonna go ahead and head home. I don't know where she's going, actually. I guess. But yeah, see, he's in such a bad mood. He wants to eat, and he wants his mom to play with him. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. What's going on over here? I think, uh, is he leaving? Yeah, he's leaving. It's pretty late anyways. Uh, did she fix my No, go fix my sink. Go fix my sink. Lindy, stop distracting her. Go fix my sink. Go on. Alrighty. So, Penelope, go ahead and... Before you go inside, just give him a bottle. Or, once you get inside, give him a bottle. Snuggle him. Um, play with him. Alrighty, he's ready for bed, so we're gonna go put Aiden in his crib. Uh, we will have some toast. Go fix my sink! Go! Lindy, stop bothering her. Go, Lindy, go to bed. Go to bed, Lindy. Isaac is still up here on that horse. <laughs> he's gonna go to sleep now, too. It's getting kind of late. And, uh, Kendra is already in bed. Cool. So yeah, everybody's going to bed. Everybody. Um, 
Where's she going? Oh, she's going to have her toast and then she's going to bed. Okay, that's fine. That is fine to me. Alrighty, so now she's going to go ahead and go to sleep. That's when I'm going to end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, In the next part, we are going to invite over Andrea and get a little bit closer with him. And probably, you know, I don't know, hang out with him. And I think Carrie aged up. No, she should be aging up soon though. And I'm going to invite Carrie over and, you know, the whole family really get to know her. Um, because she is our niece, and I think I'm gonna have Tori and Jay get pregnant again, um, because I do want them to have more babies, um, and probably play with Luna and Snuggles a little bit, and Ava, and have all of them start doing stuff, I don't know. Um, so, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.